Hello and welcome to Wake Up Call here at Crafters TV. It's wonderful to be with you today. It's my first ever one. I've never sat in this chair for a Wake Up Call, so I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, but it's lovely to be with you. My name is Rebecca Redikin. You can call me Becky. And I'm in very safe hands today. Of course. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> we have got oodles coming up today for you. We have got those wonderful shows. I've got launches for you today you are going to be able to get your hands on for launch day if you love your dies you love your stamping you are totally in the right place because you've got that launch day and then you've got your launch party as well these are very 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 special we need to ignore those times because of um what's it called Daylight savings. Daylight savings. Mm. So just ignore those times on there for the moment. We'll fill you in on the time of what everything should be shortly. Um, we have got oodles today, haven't we? So, so much coming up, isn't there, in the show? I cannot wait to bring to you the two launches that we are going to have a little nosy of as well. So we have got the two launches, those ones that we're going to be able to bring to you, you may well have been able to see your hands on. So do feel free to get in touch with us. Don't forget, we love to hear from you on socials and you can get us on Facebook, Insta, etc, etc. So do feel free to treat yourself to um, um, getting involved with us because we do love to hear from you. And also, don't forget, we will be bringing to you those launches soon. Before that though, <laughs> let me also tell you Sorry, there's behind the scenes goodness going on. Joe's uh, currently crawling on the floor and turning the telly on. Thank you, Joe. Beautiful. I will also let you know just whilst I'm padding. <laughs> The, um, I have been br brought in some of my shoes as well. You will know, I'm sure that, um, yeah, I, I um, upcycle shoes and do lots of uh, kind of pieces for craft fairs, etc. So we'll be talking about that too in a bit. But before it, Joe, what have you got to tell us? Oh, well, it all started so smoothly, didn't it? The TV just went <laughs> off halfway through there. So uh, that is my exercise for the day, pretty much done there, uh, Rebecca. Uh, yeah, really great uh, day ahead here on Crafters TV. Remember, as Becky was saying there about the daylight saving, so for the rest of this week, slight show change, slight change on the show times for you. Uh, so here are the uh, at the times for this week so far. So first show, East Coasters, 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m. That is your show time for the rest of this week. Those of you on the West Coast, 5 a.m., 8 a.m., and midday. That is what it's going to be like through until Saturday, uh, and then on Sunday. It's all going to change back again. So back to the old familiar times. I am genuinely out of breath from crawling across the floor there to turn <laughs> that TV back on, honestly. Uh, and then obviously we'll go back to the normal times, as you can see just there, 7, 10 and 2 on the East Coast, uh, 4, 7 and 11 uh, if you are across on the West Coast as well. So uh, definitely 11 a.m. Does that say 11 p.m. there? 11 uh, yeah, 11 a.m., of course, uh, if you are across on the West Coast. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, I'd love that. We love a bit of salacious gossip here at Crafters TV. <laughs> uh, and you can get in touch with me, as many of you are. Loads of you saying hello already. Georgie Ann saying hi in Clearwater. Uh, Linda's in Maryland. Thea's in the Netherlands as well. Ooh. Adriana's in from Texas. Adriana's actually sent us in a picture, Becky, of her altar from her Day of the Dead that she created. So wow. can't wait to see that a little yeah. bit later. Uh, really lovely to see Becky again from Fran saying, uh, and Donna here says, Joe, you look so good without all that hair. You are so fine. Yum. Wow. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> Wowzers, trousers. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you want to get in touch with us and have a chat, then absolutely you can. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. But Becky has got a little bit of an insight as to some of the fabulous things coming up today. Absolutely, I do. So one of the elements that's going to be launching for you later on is our Message Reveal dies. Now, these kind of do what they say on the tin. They're a beautiful die which almost creates you a card, but then there are hidden elements within this that gives you that secret reveal message. You're getting all of those wonderful elements the four sets of dies with 32 elements in total for just 40 pounds 78 that's if you're platinum or if it's your first order or 47.88 you're getting the cracker in this which if you've seen this on hsn you've not been able to get your hands on the cracker 
before. So this is exclusive here in the UK if you would like to treat yourself to it. The individuals are on the website as well for you if you wanted to have a little look. But I would be saying if these are speaking to you, you have got the next, what, four years sorted of your cards. So do feel free to treat yourself to those. And I will be doing a demo in that in a bit. This is one that I am so excited to show you. Another launch that's coming up for you today in Launch Party, which is our evening show we are bringing to you your festive tags. Now, these tags are beautiful because they're versatile, they're usable. Of course, there are Christmas elements in here, but that's my favorite bit there. Oh, the vellum, vellum, perfect size, meaning less waste and meaning easier making to be able to get all of the elements. And that does include all of those beautiful ribbons. Today, just £17.37 or $23.16. That is gonna be one that you use, not just on your cards, but your gifts time after time, year after year. It's a brilliant deal for you today. Let's carry on with our launch party, shall we? And I'm bringing to you the Explorer kit. Now, this is a kit that would be great if it is day one of your crafting. If you've never crafted before, all you're really going to need to add to this is, of course, a, a dye machine or an embossing machine and some paper. And you are going to be well on your way. We're going to be talking about these wonderful 3D embossing folders. Each of them comes with the two stencils as well as those watery active colours and of course your daughter's in there as well. To be able to get all of that, what an incredible gift this would be for someone. Just $34.99 or $47.99 unless you're platinum and then it's even more of an absolute bargain. So do feel free to seize the moment on that one because there is just so much for you to treat yourself to. And don't forget if you buy it right here right now, you can sit back, relax with a brew and you don't have to worry that you're uh, going to be missing it later and then tune in for the shows later on and you can be inspired with creativity what you up to joe oh, well, uh, it was, uh, monday yesterday of course which meant yes. that we launched a brand new get it got it good Ooh, yeah. uh, yes and it is a fabulous one as well it is these amazing uh, uh, acrylic paint markers that we've got for you uh, you get all four packs you get the bright the jewel the pastel and the essential in here as well. Uh, the great thing is that um, you should, well, they should be £31 and change. You're getting them for £23.97 today. Uh, in the US, you should be looking at almost $40. You can see under $30, which is excellent. They go on to so many different surfaces as well. Of course, all your card stocks, uh, ceramics, wood, uh, fabrics, as you saw there as well. Um, absolutely loads of things that you can pop these onto, which is brilliant. Absolutely loads uh, coming up for the rest of the day. Uh, Becky's here with us uh, this morning for Wake Up Call. Uh, and then it's a double Debbie instalment for you for the rest of the day as well. Debbie Robinson, uh, of course, up with a launch day and then a fabulous launch party. It's all about the launches today, really, isn't it? I'd love to know who of you uh, have already gone for either of those brand new launches that we're going to be showcasing throughout the day. Drop into the comments and let me know. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. You may see as well that we are sporting our poppies today. If you missed um, the show yesterday, uh, of course, uh, here in the UK, it's very common. Uh, all, well, everywhere really. TV, absolutely everyone will be sporting a poppy uh, for the next couple of weeks in the right lead up uh, to Remembrance Sunday. So if you're thinking, oh, what are those fabulous things all about? That's what those are. But I can see Debbie. Uh, I can see Debbie. It's because I've, I've only worked with Debbie for like the weeks and weeks and weeks now. I'm sorry, Becky. No, it's fine. Don't and it's worry. also it's Don't a two syllable. It's a two syllable with a Y. It was going to happen. I'm glad we got it out of the way early doors. To be honest. Ben, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Not a problem. Um, I was about to say. I can see Becky is like a coiled spring over there, ready to burst into action. I'm going to hand over. So I know how excited she's about these brand new dies. I really am. I have got for you right now your reveal message, your secret hidden reveal messages. So this is what you're going to be treating yourself to if you're getting this entire pack right now. I've got for you Cracker first off. Now the Cracker has got a wonderful detail to it. And again, as I said before, they kind of create your card as well as all that detail. Not only got that one, we're also bringing to you your stocking detail. All of these words, don't forget, not stamped on, they are part of the dies themselves themselves. Bringing to you also in this your gift of Christmas. This is the one that I'm going to be demoing with shortly. I love this one because if I hadn't said gift of Christmas and you saw that for your birthday, 
for Mother's Day. A card that's basically just, hi, I haven't seen you in a while, I'm thinking of you. You wouldn't think twice. I think that's a great one. And then I've got for you Christmas tree in here as well, which I just think is so much fun because you have got so many different adornments within here. So those are what you're going to be getting in the collection. You do not have to pick your favourite at all. You're getting all of those 32 elements within this treasure. And we have got for you lots and lots of little samples here that I can show you if you like, just to give you a little bit of inspo. So this card that we have got here for you has got that wonderful cracker detail on it. And let me just show you sort of the element or the concept of these, if you will. So you've got the card section here, but just highlighting it here is your separate secret hidden Ooh. message section so you could use any stamps or dies that you currently have within this you could write your own little um, notes for that you could even doesn't it stop and you put in a you know like a bit of a kind of scratch card type thing in there as well if it's the right size so that's one of them Bring into you also, I really love this design. And again, with that secret reveal within here, you do get the miniature tag in this section as well, just to let you know, which of course is decorative, but there's nothing stopping you actually writing on that, is there? I do think the Christmas tree is one of my favorites. I'll be honest, I haven't actually had a chance to play with the Christmas tree as of yet, but just look at how festive that is. I don't know if this is just me, but I've got a cat, which I understand isn't just me. Apparently they're quite popular. <laughs> um, but my cat, whenever you put the Christmas tree up, she sits in the Christmas tree. In it? Genuinely. What, like climbs into it? She climbs into it and peeps her head out. Like she looks like wow. a tiny bauble. You <laughs> can't stop her. Um, she absolutely loves it. She doesn't do anything she doesn't even play with the baubles she just sits there but i'm imagining putting a picture of my cat just here peeping Peeking out yeah <laughs> so you could do something like that i've also got here for you in this collection the stocking as well oh that must come out sorry uh, but yeah you've got the stocking in here too and this one's actually been a deer down so you can just have that sort of grander reveal if you wanted to and that's on a lovely box i really like that one who's made this Debbie, Debbie, this is beautiful. So that is those one for you. It's a really, really special selection too um, with this one. So we've got all of those for you, just as little examples. And the one that I'm going to be whipping up for you is this one here. Love it. So this one I thought, super duper duper festive, very, very Christmassy. Let's go whole hog, because I'm sure that some people are feeling very festive. Are you well and moment. truly in the festive spirit yet, yeah, Becky? Whereabouts are we on the festive scale? Uh, do you know where I am? I'm in... Oh, uh, no, I'm in November. No for November. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully in November. Um, <laughs> I am the type of person who the Christmas decks will go up on the 1st of December, and then you can't stop me. Right, OK. And it's, then all bets are off from there on in. Oh, it's jingle all the way. Jingle yeah, yeah. all the way, really love that. Is. So, in this collection, um, with this one, you're going to be getting all of those separate dies. Uh, let me just show you all of the ones you get. I've taken a few off here. So, these are the nine different dies you're going to get in this collection. Come here, sticky drink. So, in this, let me show you on the back because it's stuck in there. Um, you've got all of these different elements within this one. And these are the ones that I'm going to be using. This centralised one and the top panel for now. Oh, yeah, they're on the board as well, aren't they? Forgot about that. Forgot they existed, even though I've only shown them three minutes ago. So what I want to do is just want to show you the elements of this and kind of the components of it and just how simple this is to put together. So on here, I've got the large bow section. And this is with the added panel as well. I'm going to bob that on there. And if you want to be, and in fact, I'm going to be a little bit um, sort of pedantic about it, and stick that into place and the reason I want to do that with this is because you see the lines on this striped paper I want to make sure that they're really nicely in order so I will bob that on there I like to try and put uh, my tacky glue not tacky glue um, I, uh, what's it called low tack tape in an area that I know it's not going to cut out it's going to cut out so that if it does tear the paper for any reason i know that i'm absolutely fine so i'm going to bob those around the other way just because of force of habit does anyone else do Teresa's that? asking would a gift card fit into these Ooh, i wonder you know how is a is a gift card similar size to a debit card or yeah, a credit card would you say I'd say on some of them it might well do, but some of them are quite fine. So yeah. I don't know if there would be a the way of The stocking one looked quite wide, it didn't it? it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if there'd be a way of sticking that onto it, maybe. Do you know mm. what I mean? Possibility, possibility. Um, 
but yeah, I'm sure we could measure, we can measure one up for you in a bit, actually. In fact, by in a bit, I mean, <laughs> this instant. <laughs> so let me do that for you. Why am I getting slight special. Pokemon vibe from that, from the overhead on that one there? Pokemon. I think it's that little, it's the, it's the red bit with the white, the white circle. Pokeball? Yeah. Oh, there! There, yes, totally. Yeah. Gotta catch them all. Gotta yes. catch them all. So this bit, I would say, thickness-wise, that looks like it is about the right size, doesn't it? Let me measure it for you. Across ways, we've got two and a half inches, so I'm wondering if you extended that somehow, could you attach a card onto it? Maybe. It's I'm sure there's some definitely some savvy crafters out there that are going to be able uh, to do that. There'll be some out there who know exactly how they might do that. It's a really good question. Um, so, yes, I've cut those bits out. And um, all you will do then is cut out all of your other lovely elements. So you're going to pop those ones all out and just make sure that you've got all of the pieces you want. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I've cut out from this kit two of my gift cards. I've also made sure I've cut out the bow and that's on that ever so slightly glitzy paper. I've got my red mirror card, which I've done the uh, with love on there as well. And then you've got these other little additions that act as the stopper, because as you can see, this is your easel card. But of course, you've got that hidden message within there also. One thing I will mention to you, which is quite a good point um, to have, in one of this one of the dies in here, sorry, is this little mechanism here. And what that does once you, I don't know if you can see the score line, yeah, you can, can't you? What you want to do is you want to fold them over away from yourself. You'll be able to see uh, where that is. Give them a really good burnish. And this is the section that your sentiment slots into at the back of the card, okay? Ah, perfect. So you know that you just want to use a little bit of tape on that, or you can use some of your wet glue, and you just want to pop that in behind the section of your card. But I just thought I'd show you that, um, just so you kind of know the concept of it and how that's going to work. So next up, I want to start kind of putting this card together. So what I've done for this is I've got on my piece of card, which is six and a half inches by four inches, and I've scored this. So I've scored it at um, two inches and at three and a quarter inches. And that has given me that easel type effect. I always like to do the easel first um, because for me, I'm always getting a little bit worried that if I kind of forget to do that, I might kind of do it to the wrong size. So I like to make sure I've measured this and so I know that I'm gonna be able to create that section. Now it really is just about popping this in together. So with the piece I've cut out, I've cut another piece out of this, and this is just out of your uh, plain cardstock. Um, and you can, I like to wet glue this, and I'm gonna be using my all purpose on this just because I've got no sort of mirror card or anything that I need to be too worried about. The reason I, come on you. <laughs> the reason I speak to my glue, uh, no, <laughs> the reason I like to do it this way is purely because it gives me a little bit of wriggle time, especially with these little delicate, intricate areas like this here. I just want to make sure that I've got all of those sections. You can, of course, use your, um, you know, your tiny, tiny little pot. What does Debbie Fisher call them? It, Gloria. Gloria, the glue You can holder. use your Gloria as well in this section if you wanted to, just to make sure you've got all of the um, rigidity, if you will. So then next up, it is all about putting those elements together. So now that I've popped that section in, we're going to be adding on the base section, which is the one with that sentiment within it. I then have got here my uh, burnished element that I did earlier on. And I did sort of pre-stick this, but I'm gonna go in again actually with some tape just to ensure that's really nicely done. Um, you will see as well, once it kind of folds over it, it, I don't know, it's one of those elements that almost tells you what to do, if that makes sense. You know, you don't have to kind of overthink it. It does just uh, lead you in the right direction. Fabulous. And also, you know, so many people have got so many lovely, wonderful Christmas papers at home, I'd imagine, that you're going to have loads of fun deciding uh, what you're going to go with. I bet you could actually as well, the present one, as you said earlier, Becky, yeah. do this in some silver glitter and mirror card, and it could just be a wonderful birthday gift, couldn't it? Oh, you know, you I could use it all the year through. Completely agree with you. Totally. Um, just to say, this piece that I cut out earlier, I did just run around the outside with a little bit of our um, deep deepest green um, ink just to give it that sort of level leveling look if you will 
And then we just want to double check as well. You might have seen I went in with my sort of pokey tool a bit then. So I just wanted to make sure that that slots in nicely. And I'm going to do that again, actually. What I tend to do with this, you can take out your pokey tool. I'm always a little bit... Um, careful about that in smaller sections like this what all I know is that I need to sort of exaggerate the opening so when I go in with my rubber section here it's kind of hard to explain but because it's um very malleable it almost molds itself into the right area you know a bit like when you're doing the um you reseal in your shower I've never re I'm not one for DIY you Becky no <laughs> DIY means <laughs> Don't do it yourself to, for me. Oh, does it? Disaster if you do it is what it means to oh. me. <laughs> Have you ever actually had a disaster with it or not? I've just never done any DIY ever. All right. I mean, okay. I wouldn't even allow myself to paint walls, I don't think. Sure. Because it would just, I just, no, I just can't. Just can't do it. I would have imagined that you would have been really good at that type of thing, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I just feel like if I painted a wall, then everything else would need repainting after I'd painted it. You know, there'd be paint on the floor, there'd be paint on the <laughs> ceilings, there'd be stuff <laughs> everywhere. I'd do, what, I'd do one job and create three more, that's the issue, I think. So I've just given up. Oh, really? Oh, that's, mm. I see. Okay, so that's the issue here. Yeah. More than anything. It's definitely more time effective to get someone else to do it for you, is what I've decided. See? Even with paint, to be fair though, painting a wall, I am one of those people that will wake up in the morning and go, right, I'm redoing the living room and I'll pick a colour that I'll like and then I'll do one coat and then I'll be bored. Right, okay. And then I'll think, I wish I hadn't started this. Uh, but you have to carry on by that point, don't you? You have to, you have to see it through. Yeah. My old housemate, she would continuously be decorating she would start one, she'd get all the rooms done and then start again on room, on the, the last room, the first room she'd done uh, on the first time around before. That was terrible <laughs> English there, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, but in, basically, she's in a constant, um, a constant state of decorating, it, it's never finished. Constant cycle. And it's only a two bedroom house as well. I mean, it's not like, we're not talking like Blenheim Palace or anything like that. <laughs> you know, it's not like, you know, I don't know, Christ the Redeemer, as soon as they finish cleaning it, they need to start again. They have to start again, day. yeah. No, it's just yeah. a two up, two down in Peterborough. Um, but yeah, absolutely loves it. Maybe she could get changing rooms over. Absolutely. Do they have changing rooms in America, do you know? Well, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Hmm. They must have loads of uh, um, makeover shows. Have you seen the... Um, uh, I think it's called Exceptional Extensions as a new show. Sure, sure. And it's presented by, <laughs> wait for it, Tiny, Tiny Temper. No. Who's a bit of an... The, the singer? Yeah, a bit of an obscure rapper here wow. in the UK. But apparently it's amazing. It's Tiny Temper going around helping people with their house extensions. I mean, that is so random, isn't it? I would love that, though. Yeah. I think, because Tiny Temper, you know, kind of having... I don't know, a rapper turn up at your house or a singer, you know, whatever. Whatever he wishes to be chosen. Uh, I think that would be really yeah. cool. I love the makeover shows where they tell them what they need to do to increase the value of their property by £60,000. Then they completely ignore all the experts' advice, do what they want to do, mm. and it's not worth any more money afterwards. Right. They're the ones that I really, really love. Because <laughs> that ones? would be me. I'd be like, nah, actually, I'm all right. I am going to put a Eurovision mural uh, in the hallway. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Oh, really? I don't, I, do you know what? I don't think I've seen ones like that before. Have you not? No. It's the Sarah Beanie ones. They never do what she tells them to. Who's Sarah Beanie? Oh, no, I do know. Yes, I do know who Sarah Beanie is. She did a dating app, didn't she? A dating app she did. Yeah, if I'm thinking of the Was right person. Was it called? Oh, she, she, she started a dating website because she wanted to get her single friend coupled off, I think. Yes. I wonder if her friend's still single or not. So mm. what she did, from my memory, it was something like the website itself, you... Um... You, like, recommended your friend, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Like a TripAdvisor review for your friend. <laughs> yeah. Dating. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just uh, I've just cut out there the with and love that does come in this selection. I'm currently looking for my dotty tape pen, which I cannot see for the life of me. Um, Do you want me to grab you one? one. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you've got a minute or two. I'm going. Whilst you're doing that, you're an absolute love. I don't want to make you over-exercise again. I've already crawled today. already today. Let me tell you where else we're up to. I'm going to carry on with my easel card now. So I've got your light glitter red card here, which is four inches by three three just shy of that and um, because obviously this one was four across in its instance so i'm just going to glue that down you can use actually thank you so much gosh you're good aren't you eh? <laughs> i'm just going to tape pen the base of this again for quickness and I'm going to bob that on for you. As I mentioned before, I have cut out some of the other elements as well. Slightly on the wonk, but there we go. And um, I've cut out some of the other elements as well. I've just layered a, a couple of these off. That's just on your blank, plain card as well. I am going to use my dotty tape pen here just because I've not got one of those tiny little bottles. Well, I do, but it is at home. And um, I know full well that it will go absolutely everywhere if I try and do it any other way. Let me just remind you, I know this kind of goes without being said, but it's like a lovely filigree um, written script, this. So that's why I don't kind of just go all in on one. I'll kind of do um, a couple of the little elements. The reason is you don't want to tear it, obviously. Pam E has got a revelation for us. She says, we have vanilla ice, as in the Ice Ice baby singer, uh, who does home remodelling shows here in the US. Maybe that's where the idea is sort of born from, because I'd imagine that Tiny Tempered, probably a young wow. Vanilla Ice-esque character, I'd Type say. Type of, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Um, Vanilla Ice, it was his birthday uh, on Sunday, I think. How do you know this? I, I read the paper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to show off. But guess how old he is. How old would you say Vanilla Ice 106. is? 106. <laughs> no, but maybe in his, maybe in his mid-40s? I think... Will you just remind me, Georgina? It's 50 something, isn't it? 54 he was. Wowzers, trousers. Looks great for it. I mean, I've not yeah. seen him recently. He won't. He's he won't. like you're like, mate, you should pop out for a drink I haven't seen him for a while, you know. Yeah, he hasn't won't. been able to travel, the pandemic and stuff. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> maybe soon. Is Chilling he... with vanilla ice, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> there was a bit, though. There wasn't was there? a little bit of pun intended, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm just gluing this um, element together. So this is the largest part of the um, easel fold. And the reason, you can just do like two inches, two inches, but the reason I've done it this way is just because there's a nice big section that's hidden here before you get the little lid rut, if you will. Um, so by doing it this way, I just know that I've got lots of time. Let me bring it around. That's the right way around. Um, I know that I've got lots of time to give that a nice leveling, but also it's got good... A good amount of surface to surface area. Does that make sense? Uh, Michelle McCarthy says, Becky just said bob it on. See, it's not just me who says that. Absolutely, yeah. Michelle. It, it isn't. No, bob it on. Bob it on. Why um, is, do you say it? No, the lovely no. Michelle, our craft expert, Michelle always says it. She's made a conscious effort to stop saying it, and that makes me sad. Um, Aww. Uh, Pamela says, hi, Joe. Hi, Becky. This is Pam. We communicated yesterday. I was so excited about watching you. I forgot to comment. Happy to see you on. Oh, there you are. hi, Pam. How are you? That's so lovely. I hope you're having a good day. Um, do let us know what you're up to. I mean, you don't have to tell us. I just like to be nosy. You kind of, you know, we would like it if you did, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love being nosy. It's quite fabulous. Are you nosy in real life? Absolutely. That makes sense. <laughs> I want to know what everyone is doing, what they're up to what all the dramas are, what everyone's exciting news is. I want to know it all. Do you watch soap operas? No, I don't. Oh. Funny that. Because that basically is just allowing you to be nosy, isn't it? Oh, it's 100% just, yeah, yeah. I mean, fictional nosiness and gossip. Absolutely. That's what it is. Do you watch them? Yes, I do. All of them? Mm, not EastEnders. I find it's a bit, a bit stressful. <laughs> it's a bit stressful. Oh, yeah. Debbie Robinson, there's not one she doesn't watch. EastEnders, Hollyoaks, Coronation Street, Home and Away, Neighbours. Oh, she's got, she's, she's full house for our Debbie Robinson. Oh, she's got time. Yeah, she's addicted. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, I've just bobbed that bow on, which I am holding for a second or two, uh, just to make sure that's secured. You can, of course, when you're at home, use whatever glue choice you have. But for now, once you stamp out your sentiment, that is your piece done and dusted. How fabulous. And Absolutely love those. Card, but you can glue that down if you want to. 
Yeah, amazing that you've got the options to create those shape cards or create with the elements. Stick it down, uh, use it as a full opening. It's completely up to you. 50.97, 59.85, a great saving for you. You're looking at just over 40 pounds, just under $50 uh, for Platinum members, which is rather fabulous. I want to tell you uh, about some awesome card stock. Uh, that we have got on the show for you. It is a Crafters Companion Luxury Mixed Cardstock. Now these are great because what you've got here is 30 sheets. Now they're all colour match for you, which is fantastic. And they get 10 sheets of the glitter, 10 of the matte mirror, and 10 of the mirror, which is wonderful. So you can really play around with the textures. You get the purple, you get the red, which is that one there. You will also get the green, the gold, very glorious, isn't it? The silver, and you get the ice blue as well. It's got this lovely steely blue with then a very, very sort of almost pale blue silver uh, glitter card in there as well. You can grab all of them for that awesome price. Look at the saving, 20.94, 32.70 is the saving there for you, which is rather marvellous, uh, I think. Right, very exciting part of the show uh, coming up now because Becky, she's bought in glorious shoes. Becky, you're going to have to... Tell us about this. How did this all start? Um, so I started uh, kind of upcycling shoes, oh, probably, I want to say about 15 years mm. ago. So I'm the type of person who I've always been into a shoe. Loves a shoe. I like a shoe. And I think shoes are really nice because you can throw on like the same old dress you've worn time and time again, but pop on a pair of snazzy shoes or shoes that are a little bit bold, a little bit out there, then the whole outfit looks different. Mm. You know, you, you match your bag to it or you go completely wild and it gives you a completely different feel. So about 15 years ago uh, in uni and I saw this pair of very well-known branded shoes mm. that I just fell in love with. They were snazzy, they were jazzy, they spoke to me. They were also over 300 pounds. So that was, that was me out, as they say. Because um, obviously when you're a student, you, you don't exactly have a lot of money. But also I have been raised by bargain hunters. My mum and my dad love a bargain. So I still don't think even now I'd sort of, you know, <laughs> want to throw it's out a lot of money on a pair of shoes, isn't it? Yeah, I'd mm. feel a little... I probably would never wear them just in case I'd scuff them. Mm. Um, so what I decided to do was upcycle shoes. Decided to get some shoes and um, the first pair I made um, was uh, essentially just like um, an oil-based painting thing. And then my friends ended up loving them. So I ended up making some for my friends. And then since then, sort of 15 years later... I now sell them in um, three boutique shops uh, near where I live in Chester. And I also do a lot of commissions as well. Ones that I'm doing a lot of at the moment are like, um, I've had quite a few gender reveal shoes gender that people reveal have asked for. Gender reveal shoe? Where does the reveal element go? So um, if it was a boy, it'll be like an ombre glitter blue and then on the sole it will be blue and it will say right you're expecting a boy or and you the open the box and name that's and the reveal it, yeah exactly ah. um, so I've had a lot of them and then also a sell at Makers Markets as well nice so I've got one coming up in like three weeks um, which oh, wow. is always really good fun in Chester in Chester lovely so that's always really good fun so yeah, I brought in just a few of my prototypes because when I make say like a new range of shoes um I will make sure that I wear them for at least three months. Generally, I'll wear them for kind of up to like 45 hours just because I want to make sure that they're all kind of right and they're all working well because I use some sort of unusual elements, I would say, that I just like to make sure. So these aren't ones that I would sell on because um, they're kind of like my practice pieces. Right. But just to give you an idea, these are some that I've been wow, working on recently. So these ones are mandala shoes. So anyone who's seen dot art before or mandala art, this is um, the type of design that you can create with this. You know the rotating board that we do here? Yeah. I wish... I'd have had that when I created right. these because when you're making them as you can probably imagine you've got lots of different size dots you've got the different patterns that you kind of want to match up ish on each side but I do vary the colors but you have to wait for each section to dry right. before you can move on with the rotating board that would make that so much easier especially once you get your hand in the right position you could just rotate it and dot rotate and dot rotate and dot these ones took me much longer than they should have because I didn't have that <laughs> for 
board, but from now on, I'm definitely going to be using that one. And what's the, what's the, what, what is the, the, is, the, is it a paint that's on there? Yeah, so what I've used on this one is, it's actually a oil-based um, paint. Uh, that I've used to create the dots on this and I've kind of mixed all my own colours and elements to these. I've also added the studs onto them. I'm not sure if you can see the top's kind of studded Ooh, yeah. as well. Um, and then what I do is I go over it with a special lacquer, which is like three layering process. And the lacquer means that they, first off, the colour won't change because of like UV light. Mm. Then I'll do another one which will make them waterproof because um, obviously the shoe's waterproof, but the paint in essence isn't. And then I'll add another one onto these ones which means that it remains flexible because ah. sometimes if you uh, don't put that on, it can almost crack in areas of the paint. So I put that on as well just to make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, that's one um, that um, I've been working on recently, which has been really popular. I think I've sold about six of those. At Wowzers. The yeah, and I only created them a few months ago, really. Um, so yeah, that's one. I also do birthday shoes as well right. or birthday parties um, so this is a really old set they've got paint on the inside which again is why they're a prototype <laughs> uh, but these ones are yeah piece of cake um, nice so when people get these because as I say I'll make the prototype and then um, the ones I sell in the shop it's just the right size fits but if you do want them created you can have these in uh, strawberry cake or whatever and then we've got the little icing elements on here as well which are actually uh, they're flexible. Oh, they're squidgy. Yeah, they're squidgy. Yeah, yeah, squidgy elements on here. Um, again, it just helps with sort of moving on these. So, and what yeah. are they made out of, the icing bits? Um, the icing is, again, something that I kind of make myself. It's like an epoxy resin right. with silicon. Okay. So it's like flexible. That's amazing. Um, so yes, so we've got some of those as well. And then the last ones that I brought in, because as you can imagine, because I make quite a few different types. Um, all of the ones that I have are just sort of box upon box upon mm. box of them. Uh, these are the ones that I had in my porch as I left it. Okay, this you, you morning. I'll take those. <laughs> so these are the other ones that I've done, which actually I did these with Spectrum Noir pens. Oh, really? So the um, blue and the pink ombre that you can see on there is alcohol pens which I've just mixed in with 99% um, alcohol right so you can get like a specific alcohol that you would use with your alcohol inks but I've used it specifically with the pens because I wanted to almost create the shapes and then all I'll do is blow them out you can get tools for that you can just use a straw <laughs> and your own breath um, <laughs> and then, breath model zone i know yeah and then um blown those out in detail and then gone over it in an alcohol proof pen which then is just doodling so every single one of these are very 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 different because there's no way that i would be able to get the right movement to copy every single design so these ones are totally and absolutely unique every single time um so yeah, and then again, go through the process of making sure you seal it all three times over and uh, yeah, add a little bit of zest to your foot. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, zesty feet all round, please. <laughs> um, Need to start making what's, some oranges. What's the, uh, have you, do you make many like men's shoes, like sneakery shoes? So do you know what, I've not actually done like sneakers or trainers. I've got uh, so many ideas, Becky, honestly. I love that. Yeah. No, I've not, I've done brogues. Brogues, So yeah. I've um, done, I've sewn brogues. Sewn them? Yeah, so kind of the areas where all of the elements uh, meet ah, up. Ah, yes. Go over them in different styles of fabric, almost like a patchwork shoe. So I've done that before and I've also done like, um, how do I put it, almost it, hand painted a, kind of floral intertwined do you know what it was it was when um secret garden right. came out you know yeah. the more recent one yeah, when yeah. that came out and, and the lots of different jewelry brands were doing all of these like twine mm. designs for males so i've done a male set of shoes for those Ooh. as well but um yeah 
I can't test those out, you see. Oh, okay. Well, if you need really anyone inside. to test, <laughs> if you need any chief testers. I'll bear you I'm, in mind. I'm very heavy footed as well. So if they can stand the test of my feet, <laughs> like Becky, I can they'll stand the test of anyone. <laughs> People are absolutely loving these. Uh, Jean says, wow, Becky, those are gorgeous. Oh, uh, Joyce says, Becky, these are beautiful works of art. And Evangeline says, oh, I love those shoes. Uh, pretty blues and pinks. What's the most like random request you've ever had for a pair of shoes? Is there anything that stand out as like, well, that's a bit of a bonkers commission. Really good one. Um, actually, I did have one that was for it was to be made into an award right. for a like board gaming society or okay. group or whatever. So that was a little bit of a, a weird one. And because of obviously when you make and sell, you have to be really careful what kind of branding etc. You're putting yeah. on. So I thought, oh, just you know, monopoly money or whatever. But obviously you can't put that on because you're selling it on, so you're using the branding. So I had to make like little thimbles out of like a polymer clay and paint right. them and stick them on so that it was like the Monopoly board was one shoe and then the other shoe was just like a um, deck of cards and stuff because it was for board wow. games. So yeah, that was a weird one, but only because they weren't to be worn. So I, right. they, they put the commission in and said, I'm going to have to test them out for, you know, a couple of weeks yeah. or whatever. And they said, oh, it's all right. We're just going to stick them on a plinth. It's just stick for an award. A, stick them on a plinth. I love that. I absolutely yeah, so love that. That was a bit random. Because like shoe, like people crafting with shoes, but mm -hmm. like not to be worn, mm -hmm. is something you see a, like a fair bit of, isn't it? Yeah. But actually like wearable ones, I mean, I love it. Yeah. I think yeah. they're fabulous. Oh, thought... What size are these? I might slip one on. Yeah, so they're all size six. Uh, I'm, I'm a me. size six. Oh, oh. No, I'm really not. Oh, yes, no. I was going to say. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm a size 10. There's no way I could squeeze <laughs> my dainty little feet into those. Uh, Lisa says, Becky, you're amazingly talented. Oh, uh, your last pair uh, where you hand doodle the designs is exquisite. Oh. Uh, you are a true artist. Oh, that's I absolutely so lovely. Love that. What a sweetheart. Thank you very much. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's how really lovely nice. to get a... Uh, a little insight into them. What ones are you, are you working on any at the moment? Um, well, I'm, I am working on some at the moment. I'm doing another gender reveal one. And I've got a wedding pair as well at the moment. Oh. And I, wedding shoes, obviously really popular. Um, but I, even though they're technically generally the most simplistic, because mm. most people just pick the shoe they want and then get you to kind of do the sole with Mr. and Mrs. Mm. and their name under, and they might want a few jewels. But because it's like wedding day, I think they stress me out the most. Because right. I just think, what if she's walking down the aisle and a pearl pings off? Right. So, um, so yeah, those are the, I'm working on one at the moment that's for a winter wedding that's really nice. So um, thankfully I've done the design like 20 times before, so Excellent. I know it works. You know that she's not going to trip down the aisle. And, no, uh, you know, no, and if she nose. did, I won't be there. So you won't fine. be there. No, you won't have that second-hand <laughs> <that> second <laughs> embarrassment. Um, Becky, uh, Joyce says, Becky, Joe could guest design a little capsule collection for you of men's footwear. Yes. There we go. There's an idea. Oh, you, I can't even draw a stick, Joy, let me assure you uh, of that. <laughs> right, we are going to be coming back very, very soon. Uh, soon? Very soon. I've got to say, I've got, my, I've, I've got new teeth in today, Becky, right. and it's so we're getting a little bit lispy. How do they feel? I, I sound like Louis Spence. Louis Spence Plus Plus. Oh, my God, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, what we're going to do is we take a quick break, <laughs> uh, and we'll come back on the other side of this with loads more inspiration. See you in a sec. <laughs> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die cutting result with each pass. Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Their plastic shims size to work with a whole range of Gemini machines. We have some awesome deals going, so visit Crafters Companion website and find out more. How fabulous to see uh, all of Becky's, uh, some of Becky's uh, creations there as well. Lots of you at home absolutely uh, loving them. A lot of you loving that first collection we shared with you as well. Jane says, lovely car, Becky. Very clever uh, collection. Um, uh, Pamela says, yes, I'm having a good day. I'm going to be making this card. Maybe five for my co-workers. A number. Find a way to attach a gift card. Uh, talking about that last collection. Love that. Uh, but, I mean, it's, I mean, as if we weren't spoiling you enough with one launch today, Becky. Key, when one launch is not good enough, no, we bring you two launches in a day. Mm. How fabulous is that? Brilliant, isn't it? Especially as what we've got for you now is a tag one. Now, this I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a, quite a fan of a tag. I think it's lovely, especially as they're expensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, you're not, uh, you know, breaking the bank if you go and buy a pack of tags. But actually, if you think every time you want to do a theme or you want to match it with, um, you know, your cards, then it will stack up, won't it? And they're quite easily sort of bend and lose. With this, you could make a tag in, what, a minute? quite easily even less in fact the great thing with this collection though is that you get an added sneaky extra bonus which is the vellum and the wonderful ribbon so these are two sets of vellum blue and clear or white if you will you're then getting all of those dies and you're getting that ribbon as well now these dies i'm bringing to you two different types you've got the magic of christmas which is this one here. It's a domed um, tag, as you can see. And then you've got that almost like sort of sparrow tail um, detail here, which I think is really nice. All of these adornments are in there as well. And you get the stamp in this. Not only that one, I'm also bringing to you your winter forest scene. Now, this one does come with vellum too. This one comes with blue vellum and it does come with the word love. I think that's um, just sort of, oh yeah, look, that's a bit loose, so it might have fallen off. Um, but that one there is your winter forest scene. $21.71 or $28.95. That's a saving of nearly eight quid or nearly $10. But if you're brand new or you're platinum, then you have got that wonderful price at the bottom of your screen right there, which is very, very affordable indeed. Um, so that's the one we've got. I just wanted to grab you. Give me a They are second. very affordable, aren't they? Considering what you're uh, getting included in here yeah. as well. I think they are they're great. I was just checking that you get the vellum in for that price as well. I was thinking, gosh, it's sure brilliant. It doesn't include the back. And hang on, and the ribbon as well. Yeah, and the ribbon. Wowzers, trousers. It's pretty brilliant, that one. It when you is think about pretty it, brilliant. It? Um, let me show you as well as that some of the ones that have been made up, which I just think are so cute. Um, these ones are by Debbie. Debbie, I keep picking all of yours up today, don't I? Um, Debbie, these are so lovely. So these ones are the kind of give you an idea of how you can create these. And imagine, you know, using whatever kind of colour scheme you're going for in your card to match that to people's gifts. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Um, and also I would say, you know, maybe if you don't use the likes of the reindeer, you just use like the tree or even just the stag. Just use the stag and the heart. That could be an all year rounder again couldn't it and then i want to show you this one too because this one really spoke to me which i think is lovely this one's by maggie um who's part of the us team hello uh, this one i think is absolutely stunning as well uh, just on a box really nice simple box and this is from the reindeer paper bag collection which we have got on the show today big 12 by 12s on those ones um, and then yes this is the lovely tag that we've got there doesn't that vellum just lift it it really does. Is that heat embossed, that vellum, as well? Yes, yes, it is, with a Gorgeous. little bit of your um, glitter. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And are those little, those little dies there as well? They're in, they're in the collection, too? Yep. Those little die cuts? Yep, all of these ones are. Beautiful. Absolutely all of them. Fab, aren't they? 
So what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, whip you up a card with this one, just because I think a gift tag as a gift tag, it kind of makes sense, uh, but you can use them in loads of different ways as well. So I'm going to start off by actually showing you around some of the bits that you're going to get in here. So just in case you're brand new, this is one of the packs. I've opted for your winter forest scene here. And in winter forest, you're going to be getting 11 pieces, just in case you are new, you'll be getting 11 pieces and that includes your stamps as well. So these are your dies that you'll run through your die cutting machine. We of course have our wonderful crafts companion Gemini, which is epic, um, but you can use these with any. And I would mention to you, and I just wanted to show you this, the mini every single one of these will go into your Fabulous. mini. So it's great, even if you've just got a tiny little uh, handheld one, they will go in there, no problemo. And by no problemo, I mean no problem. You've got your stamps in here too. So let's start off. I'm gonna start off by using a little bit of scrap paper. And this one is, um, let me just remind myself, because I grabbed it from, it was just a bit of scrap from this one. So this is your textured card stock in the bright. So if you've got this one at home, I've used this deep green here and this one here, just because those were scraps that were knocking around. So I'm going to pop my Christmas trees onto that one. And um, the textured card, if you've not seen it, let me see if I can sort of pick that up. It's almost like a linen texture, which is really, really nice. And I will mention to you as well, although I'm not going to do it um, at this moment in time, I will mention to you as well that, can you see the opening at the back of these? That's so that if you wanted to, you can emboss uh, oh, nice. And you could add a little bit of ink to that as well if you wanted to. Going in with me low tack tape. I'm going to go opposite way around with these. I'm going to go in with me low tack tape just to secure these down. Um, I can stamp something else at the same time, actually, can't I? Yes, what shall I stamp? I will stamp the tag, will I? Where's my star gone? Did, oh, I know, my star was in my other collection. Let me just grab that other one. Great that you can mix and match of them against, uh, against the two as well. So definitely worth going for that big. I still can't. My, my flabber is still gasted at that price, to be honest. I, think. <laughs> it's, it's I do like funny. that as an expression. Yeah. It's, yeah, flabbergasted. Especially, you, you, no one's ever just flabbered, are they? No, flabbergasted. Do we know what it, should we, should we Should we find out where it comes from? Yes, please. I do love finding out where these strange little sayings come from. Yeah, I like that as well, actually. So this is from Magic Christmas that I've just taken the stars out. And you'll see that these stars are attached, but they are two separate stars. So they um, work really nicely. Let me bob this through. I'm going to be using my big Gemini machine because um, that's the one I have at home. Um, so oh, it's a bit on. of a strange one, actually. Oh, tell so me the what? origin of flabbergasted is uncertain. Uh, it oh. may come from dialect, uh, a dialect word used in Suffolk or, Suffolk or Perthshire. So that's uh, basically a place in the east of England or a place in Scotland. Or in Scotland, yeah. yeah. Or it may have been created from the words flabby and aghast. I prefer flabby aghast. Flabby, like a flabby ga. ga flabby, flabby gasp. A flabby and aghast, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there you well, are. I don't know, flabby's not a very nice word. Uh, and also there is a word, I love this one, called flabberwhelmed. No, that's not true. What does that mean? Like overwhelmed. Means is feeling it? flabbergasted and overwhelmed at the same time. Ah, <gasps> oh, I am flabberwhelmed by this deal. Oh, and that is my new favourite word right there. I need you, if you can. Oh, I didn't line that up properly. I'm going to go through again. I need you, if you can, to slide that in to one of your other shows today. Absolutely no problem. Do you think you'll be able it's to do that? both shows, not a problem. Who are you with this afternoon? Debbie. Okay, Debbie do you, Robinson. Do you think Debbie will pull you up on it? No, absolutely not. Do you not? She, no. You think she'll just go? I can oh. say anything to Debbie and she'll be like, yeah, all right, anyway, on with Pop. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to put a bet on with you. I think she'll go, what did you just say? Flabberwhelmed. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. flabberwhelmed. What a great word. <laughs> I love it. What hey, an educational day. That, that was worth getting up for today, that yeah. alone. Yes. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> I love how excited you are about that. So excited. It's lovely. So I've just cut out um, the trees and I've cut out our uh, stars as well. So as I said, you get the two um, stars and then just pick which one you wish to have. I'm going to pop these dies back 
Um, because I know that when I don't do it at home, I know it's not going to happen here, but when I don't do it at home, you want to guarantee the golden retriever is going to jump up and it's going to lose itself down the side of the sofa. So force of habit. Pack Have you got a cat and a dog? Cat, dog and a tortoise, yes. A cat, a dog and a tortoise? Yeah. Walk into a bar. It sounds like the start of a joke, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Tell you what, I made a pumpkin for every single one, a member I of the Redditon household the other day. And uh, yeah, I thought, oh, that'll be really cute. You know, do them in like size order. You know, one for the dog, one for the cat, one for the toy. Oh, it took... A... Actually, I managed to whip it up pretty quickly, but um, it took a little bit of... For planning, I'll be honest. Did you use a stencil? That is a question. A stencil? No, Apparently, it isn't. that's how people do it these days, using a stencil. I've never heard of that. I didn't know or you did could you do that. Or did you just freehand it? Yeah, freehanded. Amazing. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, apparently you can buy like, um, pumpkin-specific stencils. I did see on a well-known social media platform. And um, by the way, I'm just grabbing out the, although I just tidied everything away. I've remembered that I hadn't used this, so I'm just going to run this through. Um, but yeah, I um, saw on a well-known social media platform somebody get a jet washer. A what? You a know, jet washer. A jet washer, yeah, like you, like a like you pressure clean washer. your car with. Yeah, pressure washer. Yeah. And just sit it about ten centimeters away from a pumpkin and go. <laughs> and done it. And it was done. Yeah. Wow. But I always, I'm always a bit skeptical about those things because I think, is that in real time? Maybe, who knows? Apparently the best way to get the stuff out the inside mm. is like an electric hand whisk. What? So you get an cut the top of your pumpkin, yeah. get an electric hand whisk, you know the one with the two things. Yes. You just pop it in, run it around inside, empty it out, done. That I makes know. so That's much genius, sense. isn't it? Yeah, because I, I'm pretty sure that if you look closely at my fingernails, I've probably still got a little bit of <laughs> pumpkin tinge after doing five <laughs> pumpkins the other night. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because yeah, I don't even use a spoon for that. I should, really. There you are. All of you, write these down, ready for next year. You'll be good. <laughs> yeah. You need yourself a pressure washer and an electric whisk, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, 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 you're ready. <laughs> so I've popped that one out, and I just wanted to show you um, that I have cut out some other elements as well. So I've done the lighter green, as I mentioned. I've also done some on white cards. Now, with it being white, this is the perfect opportunity for you to use that and bob through it if you wanted to. Um, but you absolutely and completely do not have to. And then I've done some of the stags as well. And then this one I've used. Now, I'll, you may well look at this um, instantly and think, what on earth is that for? All will be revealed... <laughs> Plot spoiler alert, it's snow. Right. But you will be able to see that when I kind of build up the scene shortly. So what I like to do is cut out all of those bits and bobs first, and then I'm going to go in with kind of putting my card and building it together. So I've got a piece of blank card here, which I've done to three and a half by five and a half inches. This is just your standard card. And then on this one, what colours did I use? I used Midnight which is water reactive. I'm almost positive you got this in the, um, what's it called? The collection with the stencils as well. And then I used ocean blue too. You can use kind of whatever colours you wish to go for. And then, sorry, I'm just looking for a door, but there's one here. Um, I'm just going to kind of build up some colour. So I'm going to go in with my light first. This is our ocean blue. And I just want to add I want to make it kind of like a wintry scene. So I'm going to add quite a bit of blue to this. You can water that up if you wanted to. Obviously, make sure you're using like a watercolour card. And I like to go in quite harsh, harshly, uh, with this to start with. Because I really want this to be quite a vibrant blue. Um, so when I'm talking about the vibrancy, I suppose really what I mean more than anything is the saturation. So what I'm talking about when I mention saturation is uh, a little bit like when you are making yourself a cordial. So imagine you make yourself like a, a, a squash. Yep. Is it cordial in America? I think is that right? It, is it called concentrate? Or concentrate. I don't know. So if you imagine that you're making yourself a cordial or a concentrate, whatever you wish to call it, um, when I talk about saturation, I'm almost imagining that I'm getting a orange cordial or orange squash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, a, you know, a full capful into a pint's worth of water. As you can imagine, it's not going to go that far, is it? It's not going to be that clear. It's not going to be that dense. But then I think, actually, I want a little bit more of a sugar hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with... 
oh, I don't know, half the bottle, okay? <laughs> so now, the colour hasn't changed. It's still that lovely orange squash colour, right? But the intensity of it has. So that's what I mean when I sort of talk about saturation. I'm talking about the oomph factor, the if oomph. you will. So Love that oomph factor. <laughs> Now, obviously, do spend a little bit more time on this. I would actually use a larger dauber at home. Um, this had some on it, but um, purely because I'm here in the studio and it's what's to hand, so that's what I'd use. But you don't, I don't want this to be one even colour. I almost wanted it to look a little bit like cloudy, snowstormy. I'm going to go in really um, nowhere near as intensely. Just bring in that dauber up to the edges of this for a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of that midnight just to frame it slightly more. This one isn't so much about the kind of texture of it. This one is more to do with uh, highlighting it a little bit, framing it. Oh, I went a little bit too hardcore there. But this is the great thing with these ones. With a little bit of time and a little bit of elbow grease, elbow grease, I went well northern then, <laughs> a little bit of elbow grease, uh, they will just blend out. So, I mean, I am quite northern anyway, yeah, but sometimes I go, blimey, <laughs> that was a lot. Um, I think to myself, hey up, granddad, what are you, what are you speaking for me for? <laughs> um, so, yes, just bringing that up and going around the outside. Obviously, at home, do spend some time, take a moment or two to build that up as much as you want. And then, before I forget, do give your workspace a bit of a clean, because... Um, Otherwise, you will get ink everywhere. Have I got my little water spritzer? Where are you? A lot of people loving these. Supreme says, uh, Supreme Court was saying they love the ribbon. Uh, Mary says these are beautiful. Pam E says, I love a good textured cardstock. Um, Lauren wants to know if there's a website with your shoes on them, Becky. Oh, do you know what? Really, really good question. So I used to do them through a very well-known online site that people who make crafts can go and sell on. Right. And I have relatively, well, I say relatively recently stopped. I had to stop about a year ago because through lockdown and when we were coming out, mm. I just got far too many orders. Right. So I had to limit the amount that people could have and then I had a backlog. So I said, no more of this internet malarkey. Right. Um, but it's only because I'm really busy at the moment. So that may well be something that I look at picking up again. Um, but yeah, as it stands at this moment in time, no, because no. I'm doing this and I've got uni, I'm doing my master's Have you got a well. shoe gram Oh. A shoe gram Like Instagram. A shoe shoes. Instagram. An Instagram no. for your shoes. No, I don't. I feel no. like we need a shoe gram A shoe gram Yeah. I'm not very good at taking photos. Oh. <laughs> There must be members of the team here who are, though. I reckon well, someone, I should, are. someone will take a, take a pic for you. Yeah, maybe. That's something to think about. Do you love Kylie Minogue does her shoe of the day? If you follow no, Kylie Minogue on not. Instagram, every day she puts a picture on of the shoes that she is wearing. You are kidding she me. She used to. I know she still does it now. But, yeah, back in the day, uh, a couple of years ago, she would, yeah, her daily post on Instagram would be what shoe she was wearing for the day. But wait, and would they always be different shoes? Surely she's not got much. that much. I mean, she must have thousands of pairs of shoes. Do you reckon? Apparently, Celine Dion has... I'm going to... Just bear with me a second. I need to just... I just need to fact-check my own Celine Dion shoe fact okay, for you. Okay, so is the shoe fact about the amount of shoes Celine Dion, a.k.a. My Heart Will Go On? A.k.a. Means. Yes, I oh, drove oh, all night. Sorry. Uh, how many pairs of shoes... I'm going to guess, Celine Dion. because you are obviously, what was it, not flabbergasted, flabber... I'm flabberwhelmed by it. Flabberwhelmed by it. So I'm going to guess, um, 392. You are going to be flabberwhelmed when you right, hear Right, okay, I'm excited. <laughs> right. Right, it was, what it was, saying, it was on a. It was featured in an article on People magazine. Uh, she has 10,000 pairs of shoes. Yes. Um, Come on. Yeah. So uh, the 40 year old talk. Uh, so Dion, 51, uh, says uh, when she teamed up, image architect, uh, low rate, she struggled her shoulders responding to casually. Uh, she had three to five thousand pairs until a few re uh, years ago. Yeah, now uh, 
she, she has a place in Las Vegas. Here we go. She's uh, to quote, I have a place in Las Vegas where, um, let's call it a warehouse. Uh, Dion said, <laughs> in my house in Florida, I had a system. It was computerized. I would press and doors open. No so she way. would have like a random shoe generator. No. So she <gasps> never wore the same shoes. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Wait, a bit like, do you remember Clueless, the film from the 90s? Yes. With um, oh, I've forgotten her name now. But she had something like that that was a, um, it's like a wardrobe or again, what do we call it in America? A closet. Closet. That's yeah. it. And it would like select the top half of her outfit and the bottom half of her outfit. Wowzers. Yeah. But this I mean, is, that do you want to hear something even more bonkers, crazy? <laughs> Tell me. Uh, Barbara Streisand uh, has a mall in the basement of her Malibu home. No. And it houses uh, lots of her possessions. Right. But it also has a full-time member of staff that works in the mall. <gasps> and sometimes Barbara just, this is all, this no. is all legend, obviously. Sometimes Barbara just goes downstairs and buys some stuff <laughs> and pays for it Stop from her mall that it. she already owns. And apparently she haggles as well. Wait, <laughs> but who's bought the stock? Sorry? Who's bought the stock? Well, the stock is just her possessions, but sometimes she just goes down there and just goes shopping and just rebuys the things she already owns. No. But haggles and buys them. No. There is a, uh, no, a one-man play about the whole thing, and there's a book written about the whole scenario, uh, and the play is called Buyer and Seller. Yeah, I saw it. It was rather fabulous. That sounds incredible. I have never heard of anything like have that in my life. Have you not heard about this? No, but I'm... Totally on board with it. Yeah. Like completely. Why go and spend your money when you've got enough stuff? Just start rebuying your own stuff. Well, I don't know. I, I, again, you know, I did mention before I'm a bit of a bargain hunter. I'm not chuffed about buying some at once, let alone having to rebuy it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that is fabulous. The most fabulously bonkers thing I've ever heard. I'll be honest with you. That is fabulously bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> I completely, completely agree. So I'm just building up a bit of a scene here. And actually on the one that I will show you shortly... Um, I've kind of done them in a more linear way, but with this one, I've just done um, a little bit more, just because as I said before, the dauber that I got from the studio had a little bit of muck on the side. Um, so I've kind of done mine to kind of hide that a little bit. But again, you can use this in whichever way you want. So let me just show you some of the other elements that I've got in here before I forget. So I've cut out this, uh, the tag, and I want to kind of add a bit of a scenery to the tag as well. So I'm going to bob on with one of the whites that I used. Um, I'm using wet glue here. Actually, you don't have to, obviously, use whatever speaks to you. And what I'm going to do, just to show you the concept of this, so you've got the snow. So what you want to do is almost hide the little tree. Um, with that snow so just make sure you've got it in the right area and again I'm layering this up you at home take all the time you need but I quite like the layering up I think it makes it almost look like it's got like a winter snowy um, shadow if you will mm. uh, I can look like dusting of snow on there a dusting great mm. great description yeah I like that a dusting of snow now I have realized that I am one or two short but you get the idea. So I would pop another one on here, which is the smaller one too. So this one, I've used a bit of the sort of pearlescent card, and that's in the white, and that's just to give it a snowy effect. Let me pop that on there. That just gives it a little bit of a snowy effect. And I've done that a couple of times on, on the one that I'll show you shortly. Then I've also done one out of the vellum. Now the vellum pad is so cool because they are the perfect size that you need to actually work with. So if I'll just show you if you've not seen them yet. This is the blue one. If you get the pack, you do get the white and the blue. But yeah, I've cut one out in the white and they are the perfect size, as you can see hardly any waste whatsoever there so that comes with it too so I've to cut one of those out as well and then I want to start putting all of this together so I've just got oh no don't forget your don't forget my lovely little reindeer and you can etch onto this you can run it through an embossing machine which um, is, is always possible especially as we have got some embossing folders today um, so we can do that 
but just to show you as an idea i've got some twine here this one is the twas the night um awesome. gold twine it's just uh, so um what i had to hand here today in the studio on the original one um, i've used a, a green and white one that again just from the mustache but you use this however you wish and then what i want to do is kind of um i've actually put that lovely deer on the wrong way round. so use your imagination come here and do actually you know do as i say not as i do but <laughs> if you layer it up in the right way it does kind of make your life a little bit easier and you can sweep those through. And I like to sort of tie a little bit of an added knot into it. So I've just gone through that hole a few times um, so that it locks it in. And then I'm gonna go one more time because um, although I do like the movement of uh, this within um, an actual gift card, if that makes sense, because this is a card, I want this to almost sit still-ish, slightly apart. And then, once I've done that around twice, what I will do is I will just attach this to the top of my card. So just for now, again, for speed, for time, etc., I will do that with a little bit of a tape pen. And you can cut this down, you can fold it over. Again, this is a purely a sort of time thing. So what I like to do is just go on for where I think it needs to be, give a good old layering of it and then sort of hug them around. And then with these bits, you could just cut them off, but I'm all about that added security. So sort of fold it back in on itself, get all of those little ends in there. And um, obviously, again, I'm gonna actually stick this down with some wet glue, but I do like to do this section, even when I'm at home with my tape pen, um, just because I know that it's kind of held into place then. Now I've got my card here, which again I've cut to, it's a four by six card that I've cut here. And I am going to go in, because this is on my mirror card, I'm going to go in with my tacky glue. It is personal preference, up to you what you're going for. If you do just want to go right at the end, then you absolutely can. Darbing all of that on. And then we're just going to pop this into place. You can obviously add some extra adornments to it, uh, such as, for example, your little star. Let's pop that on quick. And then you are good to go with your layered up deer in the forest card. Love that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I can't believe how much you can do with these, Becky, for considering, you know, how great that price is. Because not just getting the dyes in there, you are also going to get, of course, uh, the white and the ice blue vellum as well, which yeah. is amazing. Mm. And we're going to give you the Twas the Night Mix ribbon within there too. So everything that you need to get cracking and create some awesome tags, awesome, uh, awesome content cards that mm. you want to pop those tags onto as well. I think it's an absolutely fantastic little bundle. It's going to be coming up for you in the later launch party show with myself and Debbie Robinson. That will be here for you at 7 p.m. in the UK, which is 3 p.m. East Coast time or midday if you are across on the West Coast. Uh, right, I want to go through, I've got a brilliant out of this world deal for you and it's three collections of our vellums and some of these are my absolute favourites. This one here, you're going to get the Vintage Diary one in here which I think is just absolutely beautiful. Again, so many uh, different layers to these gorgeous vellums, which I think is fantastic. If you want to tear these, distress them, uh, fussy cut them, absolutely, you've got all the options uh, when it comes to the techniques that you might want to do. You get 12 sheets there in that particular one. Let me share with you the others. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to pop into here uh, the Caring Thoughts one as well. So let me just share this one with you. Now, I love the Caring Thoughts one because you've got some planes in here, which is brilliant. So if you want to layer these up, you've got the option to do that. And then you've got schmetterlings in there. You've got florals. Uh, it's, oh, hello. I'll get that one back later. Uh, you've all got a, lot, uh, a really lovely array of different styles in there. And you will also get uh, the farmhouse. Now, the farmhouse, not only do you get the vellums in here, it also comes with these toppers as well. So you can make some quick cards really effectively. Uh, you've got the ability to do that as well. And then really lovely balance. I love that you've got florals, got some really lovely checks in here as well and patterns. Some that would be great for cutting into strips like that one just there. Uh, a really great array of different designs and colours 
again, within there for you. And a brilliant saving, $24.99 or $29.95 is what you're paying here. So I believe you are buying two and getting one free uh, within this particular collection. Uh, and that's why it's actually the more expensive one uh, that you are getting for free in there, which is fantastic value, it really is. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, Jennifer saying she can imagine Debbie later being saying, uh, saying flabber what? <laughs> Flabberwhelmed. Yeah. Um, Aisha says, uh, Becky is a great demonstrator. She does such a great job on that side of the studio. I'm loving her work. Uh, Joy says, love this little vellum pad. Uh, Jane loves that last card, Ad, as does um, Trisha. She says, love how you use the tag on a card. A slightly different way of using it. Absolutely. It is, if you want to see those, uh, a full presentation on those, as I said, launch party this evening, myself and Debbie, 7 p.m. in the UK, 3 p.m. on the East Coast, midday for you West Coasters. Right, I believe we've even got one more demo to try and squeeze in uh, before the uh, end of the show. We'll have a look at the Explorer kit, which is also coming up in that launch party show later. I heard you getting all excited about this kit before the show, Becky. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it's one of those lovely ones that anyone can get involved with. So um, I'm um, when I was uh, doing undergrad, I studied education. So kind of education and um, the way people learn things and the way people get involved with things is something that really interests me. And as soon as I look at a kit like this, I think, oh, my goodness, a beginner who's never done anything can pick this up and create something that they can be proud of first time first time out of the box all you're really going to need for this is for example some cards and a die cutting machine or an embossing machine that you can run the folders through so we'll do a really quick one of this just because of time and um, this is the 3d folders that we've got for you so in each pack and i will just show you of course you have got the two different ones you've got this one you've got the lovely um dandelion we're bringing to you the snowflake melody so in here this is what you're going to be getting and this is you know forgive me if you've seen this type of thing before i just wanted to make this for brand new 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 people you have got your 3d embossing folder you know it's 3d because of here but also when you look at it you'll be able to tell and then these two that you get in it are your stencils so this is what you'll get all in one pack yours will be clean <laughs> mine are not um yours will be clean but in here, you've got your embossing folder. So an embossing folder, a um, little bit like belly buttons. You've got innies and outies. Belly buttons, love that. <laughs> so you've got innies and outies. One side is... Are you, have you got an innie or an outie? In. I'm an innie. Yeah, 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 yeah. proper innie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Proper. Proper innie. Not inie. half. Like all the way in, yeah. <laughs> That is. <laughs> I liked that. Thanks for the share. That's all right. <laughs> but we Why is the fluff always blue? That's a question for you. I've never seen fluff in my belly button. Have you not? No. Oh, I always get fluff in my belly button. It's always blue. I don't think I wear the right type of fabrics. Sorry? I don't think I wear the right type of fabric. Maybe not. Yeah. We've got the uh, <laughs> concave um, side here that then pushes in um, to the design. So what you want to do is you want to get a piece of card, cut it to about the right size. And you're going to place that in. I'm going to do the full sheet here just to show you the total basics for this card. But if you just wanted to use a tiny section, you could. If you wanted to, um, you know, just cut out, die cut something out, then you absolutely could. With this one, slightly different because it is 3D and you can tell if you hold 3D and 2D next to each other on the thickness. You want to use your clear um, shim and then your frosted plastic shim and this is just because to get that real emboss i'm just going to feed that into my machine to get that real emboss we have to make it nice and thick because that's what gives you the different layers the different uh, sort of depths to it if you will so by creating um that thickness you don't need as many of your different plates within your sandwich so if i take that out instantly you're going to be able to see even on white card that is embossed it if is you wanted to leave that as it was Stick a sentiment on the bottom, cut it to the right size you need, obviously. Stick a sentiment on the bottom. That would be a really lovely, simple, but pretty card. But we can take this up a level. Woo, same to you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A van outside. It obviously. was a, yeah, a lorry. I always think it sounds like a cruise liner going past when that happens. Oh, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Did you used to work on the ships? No. Oh, I, do, I, I, I would love to did. have, though. Yeah. You strike me as the type, but would I? Yeah, I get that a lot. Do you? 
I have got for you <laughs> the two different um, uh, lovely stencils within here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them. I mean, it is literally as simple as that. So I am going to go on with the bolder areas first. And the reason I want to go in with the bolder areas first is because of the colours I'm using. So I'm going to be using my parakeet. I'm also going to be using my midnight blue. Remember, you get both of these within this collection. In fact, you get two, is it two other colours? You do get well, two colours. Cool. Uh, oh no, you get four. What am I chatting about? Uh, you get your, oh, you get your water reactives in parakeet, anthracite, midnight and smoked emerald. Perfect. So you get all four of them there Gorgeous. as well. Gorgeous. Uh, and you're going to get your dabbers too. Now, have I got a dabber near me? I cannot see one. So I'm actually going to go in with one of the blenders that just happens to be near me. And this is what you get the the dabbers or daubers if you will uh, within your piece and you can they're a little bit like a makeup sponge so with your makeup sponges when you're using them i wasn't very generous then um and don't forget you can water this down and do however you wish with it but with your makeup blenders if you did want to use them in wet form like you might do a foundation brush then you absolutely and completely can but just make sure that you're going to be using the right type of paper and um, that's really important because otherwise it'll just be it'll just be too heavily saturated for something like this and then it will Cockle, that's the actual term apparently, you know? Yes. For when yeah, your paper yeah. warps. Where it warps. And what a strange in. term. Cockle. Yeah. Edible as well, cockles, aren't they? Yeah. Which I think delicious. It seems like a strange, a very strange word for I it. I agree with you there. Um, so that instantly is how your piece will finish. You'll actually see I slightly budged it here, but I actually don't mind that look. I think it looks a little bit uh, kind of 2D. And then we're going to go in with our next one as well. So all I would say is this is the easiest point for me to notice. I've got my biggest star here. My biggest star needs to go over my biggest star. So I know whoop, I flip it, it's absolutely happy and sorted. It's quite an easy one to line up. I have seen ones before where I thought, I don't think I'd be able to line that up in a month of Sundays. But this one, really quite easy. And then uh, do feel free to change your daub pad if you so wish at this point because these are same, similar blues I'm not actually going to and again I just want to make sure that I'm lining them up ish you can actually make it a bit of a feature though if you don't want to line it up perfectly you absolutely do not have to it can look a little bit um sort of avant-garde if you will and of course remember you can line up some sections and not one thing I will mention is you can see that I'm holding on to this I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it at all I'm holding on to this just because I'm moving my hands around and I'm quite happy to do that. I will say if you do have dexterity issues or maybe you just think someone's going to knock on the door so you want to make sure that you know you're all sorted and ready and raring and you're not going to stand up and you're going to misalign it or whatever then do feel free to tape it down as well. So there we go we have got our lovely layering look and that is as simple as it is. As I mentioned before Cut it down to the right size, which I will do. Do you want a sort no, of I'll, fabulous, I'll, slightly actually. disgusting fact? Um, the answer to that is always yes. Maggie Fielding on Facebook has Maggie. come through with the belly button fuff fact. Oh, please tell she me. She says, it is blue, and that is the natural colour of the cotton which forms your clothing. The sweat caught in your belly button no, helps to diffuse it from the cotton into the fluff, giving you the familiar sight of blue belly button fluff. There you are. So it's, it's to do with sweat? It's to do with the sweat in your belly button that makes the, the fluff in there go blue. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe that's why I don't get blue fluff, because I've never thought to myself, oh, I've got a well sweaty belly button. <laughs> Maybe that's why. I've still really got a very sweat. I've clearly got a very sweaty belly button. What can I say? We haven't crossed the line. It was Maggie Fielding. So there you go. <laughs> she dragged us across the line. I love it. Let someone else. Yeah. Thank you for that, Maggie. That is yeah, incredibly like interesting. That. And that is something I shall commit to memory for every time someone asks me why belly button fluff is blue. Do you get asked that often? All the time. <laughs> Every other question, honestly. <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> um, so I'm just cutting this down to size now, and I'm actually cutting it to the same size um, of our overall piece, which is a five by um, six and a half inches. 
bob that in the bin. And then what I want to do is from the outside inwards, I want to make sure that I've cut these down to size. So I'm going to take two inches off this side, two inches off this side. And the reason I'm doing it this way and I'm not doing... Um, just turn that around. The reason I'm doing it this way and I'm not making them all even is I think it just gives it a little bit of a quirkier look. So that's my two inch one. I'm then going to take this, flip it. This is the way that I like to do it. And then I'm going to cut that to two inches as well. Do try and remember what order they go in. But actually, if you don't, it doesn't really matter. So there we go. I've got my large panels and my other smaller panels. And then what I want to do is I want to back them. So I've opted to back for mirror card, silver mirror card. Only reason is that I add it, <laughs> but you could use whatever you want to on this. So pop it in the order that you need it. Um, mine's actually upside down, but I can use that in whatever way I want to do. So now I've just got a piece of card and I wanted to make this so, so, so simple that a brand new beginner would be. So all I did was got a piece of A4 card, which here in the UK is sort of 11-ish um, by 8, isn't it? It's just, just under um, one side over on the other. And I folded it in half. That is so simple. You don't need a scoreboard for this. Just fold it in half. And then I've got some of these pieces. Now these on the back are called foam pads. Where's my pokey tool? Um, these on the back are called foam pads. They are readily available. Check out our website for them. If you don't have foam pads, you maybe just have some wet glue. Feel free to just use wet glue. The reason I've used foam pads is because, again, I wanted to make something so, so, so simple that even someone brand new who's never, ever made anything before could whip up in moments. Um, so, yeah, if you do just want to use wet glue, then you absolutely can. And I'm just going to line this up. And what I like to do, because I'm never 100% sure about my um, sort of guiding, if that makes sense. I like to sort of line it where I think it will be. That oh, looks about right. And then bob that on. So what I've actually done is I've used foam pads on the outer ones, which, if you recall, were two inches. Actually, they're slightly over two inches by the time I've backed them with the silver. My hands look like blue. I look like a smurf. And I'm wearing blue. That's not helpful. Anyway. Um... But yeah, I'm such a mucky crafter. But yes, these are the ones that the white section we cut to two inches and then we left and then we've backed it and we've backed it just a quarter of an inch around each side. So bobbing those on. And then all I'm going to do is, again, by eye. Do feel free if you wanted to, to really um, line this up and uh, measure it and all the rest of it. That's gone a bit wonky. There we go. And then this one... I'm just going to use glue. Now, because this is my mirror card, I like to use my tacky glue on the back of this. That gives me a bit of wriggle room, especially when, and that's why I always do the outside first, because I know that, say for some reason, I did go a little bit off kilter. So long as my middle one looks like it's in the middle of these two, I can always cut the card down to another size if I needed. So, evening that up, that looks pretty dead central enough for now anyway and then finally i have gotten from the um collection that we did earlier with the tags i've cut out the word magic that came from this one and i've just cut it out in that same mirror card and i'm gonna go in with a bit of glue let me uh, tape pen it again i've lost that tape pen you found me when i say lost i mean it's right in front of my face i found it um, and I'm just going to bob this on. This, again, is my dotty tape pen. You can tell it's the dot one because it has the picture on it. And it means that you don't get sort of that cobwebbing finish with it too. And then I'm just going to... Where do I want to put it? Somewhere in the middle one. Should I go straight in the middle? Let's do it. That'll do. And there you go. As a brand new, complete, absolute, first time of making that you can create a really standout card. So do feel free to treat yourself to that if you fancy it. Mmm, fabulous. We better have a super quick demo with the show, Let's though, do hadn't it. we? Uh, that would be wonderful. No. I don't know where I went there. I was about to say wunderbar, and then I realised I'd already said the W, and then I went, oh, wait, wonderful. I sounded very Yorkshire then. <laughs> you did. I'm not sure quite I'm... what happened there, Becky. I think it suits you. Um, so <laughs> let's go through what we've done today. So this was a demo number one for you. This is the one with that um, sort of hidden sentiment within it uh, there. So you've got that card, the easel card. I then did this one for you, which is your tag and stag scene. Um, so tag and stag, the, love that. That's a good name for a pub. So that yeah. would be number two. <laughs> and then finally, the totally easy, anyone can get involved, um, lay a card with those um, embossing folders as Amazing. well. Amazing. One, one, two, two or, or three. three. 
the power is yours. You decide. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are over on YouTube. Something else I need to tell you about. Last, um, I need to tell you about the glitter markers that we've got available for you are on the show as well. They come to you in the same sort of delivery system as the acrylic markers. Uh, and what you're going to get in here are the three different collections. This is your Vibrant Florals, which has got Ultraviolet, Electric Pink, Golden Glow, Supernova, Yellow Cosmos. You will also get as well this one here, which is your Cool Elements. That's got Cool Blue, Carbon, Moonlit Silver, Jade Aqua, Frozen Lake and the Midnight Frost. And then you've got your Neons as well. And in there, this is right up my strata, the Neons. You've got Violet, Yellow, Pink, Blue, Orange and neon green love those uh, if you want to grab a hold of them you can 28.50 or 40.50 uh, today is your price nice saving on those uh, for you which is fantastic and of course make sure you're using your club inspired discount should we whiz through some of the other stuff that you've seen on the show today as well um message reveal dies here uh, four dies in the set uh, 32 elements in total uh, 59.7, 59.85. I think that's a great price when you consider the size of these. They are big, substantial dies, which make nice big projects for you. We also have the festive tag stamp and die collection. Love this. Are you going to see these in the launch party a little later? I think if you're just looking for a little treat that's not going to break the bank uh, this side of Christmas, these could be that for you. 21.71, 28.95. Two dice, two stamp and die sets in there the ribbons and the vellums in there for you too. Of course, the Out of This World deal, uh, which you'll be seeing a little later in launch party as well, is the Luxury Cardstock Ultimate Collection. A brilliant saving here. £20 or $32 you are saving, which is absolutely blooming awesome. Uh, card of the show is number three, Becky. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. The, yeah, uh, the mirror one. In, the uh, uh, mirror and embossing card one. Thank you. Love that. What a lovely wake-up call we've had. Really nice, and I feel like we've covered a lot. Yeah. Not just pro products and shoes. Celine Dion shoe collection, <laughs> Barbara Streisand's pri private mall in the bottom of her Malibu home. Belly buttons. Belly button fluff, mm. while it's blue. <laughs> and we had a look at all the amazing things that are coming up in the show. I love it. What could be better? No, I mean, really, really, what could be better? What are you doing with the rest of your day? I am going home and doing some studying. Studying, mm -hmm. study, study, study. Yeah, studying. Uh, I am going to be staying here and studying hard in the world of craft. Uh, and remember, we're back with you at 3 p.m. in the UK uh, for that launch. And then that incredible uh, launch party up a little later as well for you at 7 p.m. Right, I'm going to get some lunch. Lovely to see you, Becky. Lovely to see you. Lot. I'll see you back here in 90 minutes. Bye. <laughs>